Okay, so today we're going to look at an inside ankle pick and how to set it up from the tie-up and the movement, and then also a follow-up to the inside knee pick. All right, so we start off. I've got his head with my, I've got a collar tie with my right arm, right hand, and I could have his wrist or I could be on the bicep. Depends on what he's doing with his arm on that side. The important part is this, as far as the tie-up goes, is having his head because I can lead him and get that leg coming toward me, that left leg. That's what I'm looking for. You'll find that, that right-handed wrestlers, which is most people, um, are not as good at defending their left side. And you'll also find that if you are a, uh, an avid shooter and you're, you're going in for singles and doubles all the time and his reflexes are good, you're always having to carry that weight around. But if you go for, if you set up uh, ankle picks, you never have to deal with the sprawl. You never have to deal with his weight. He can't put his weight on you if you've got the ankle. Okay, if, you're, if you really catch it and it's under him, it's not possible for him to drop his weight on you. So this rewards clean tie-ups, good setups, and quickness, and to some degree, long reach. All right, but if, you're, if your penetration is good, you don't have to have super long arms, although they help. Okay, so from here, I've got his head. I'm circling, drawing out that left, that left foot. So I step this way, and as it comes to me, now I'm stopping and talking about it, but actually, as he's stepping, I will be stepping across. My head is up under into his uh, chest, really, but I've got to have his head down. I've got to put pressure here so he has to step there and he can't move that foot. As long as I put weight over that head, over that foot that is, with his head, he can't move his foot. Go ahead and try. Okay. Because so, if he moves it, he falls. So, so just keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to penetrate past it as I scoop it and sort of wheel him to the, to the mat. So we're here, and I draw that leg out. If he's reaching up, I go to the bicep. That's good. Or I go to the wrist. Okay. I draw it out, I penetrate across, I clip it, and then I penetrate onto my knee, lifting this up, still holding his head. What's nice about the inside ankle pick is I end up outside of his legs completely. So it's side control made to order. I don't have to pass his half guard or his guard if I've got this ankle still, because even if he tries to put me in his guard, it's not gonna happen, all right? And I can start to push that knee out and clear it out, establish a good, clean side control. Now sometimes, you don't need to go to the ankle. You can go to the knee more quickly and you can just clip that and drive through and take him down. It's also a nice modification for grappling on a non-matted surface, like you're on pavement, you know. Um, you can do a knee pick and you don't have to penetrate low. So from here, once again, tie up. I draw it out in the same way. It's essentially the same takedown. Draw it out. And I penetrate, I don't have to go down to my knee though. I clip this knee and I just drive through. All right? Just drive him all the way. As I'm pulling that head, lifting that leg, I'm sort of bringing him over to that side because that's the leg he needs to catch himself with. So you tilt him over on that side. I'll show that again. So this is just driving straight back. You can bring him over. And it also gets his legs to fall away from you. All right, which makes it harder for him to try to put you in the guard. So from here, I draw it out, I penetrate, and as I clip this, I drive through, lift, and bring him over. Keep the leg the whole time. Just because he's falling doesn't mean you let go of the leg because he wants to put you in the guard. He can't. Once I push that knee out, I have to fight. Do I bring it in? He's fighting for the underhook. If I push it, I make sure he can't get the underhook so that I can kind of coast over that leg and then Establish modified scarf and then side control off of that. So something else to think about is always, always think about the immediate aftermath of your takedowns. And you know, look at uh, whether you're gonna land with side control or whether you're walking with their guard or half guard. That's usually just a matter of planning and foresight where you actually uh, clear his legs, stay outside the legs, and then land in a better position.